Hey guys and welcome to another Take Under tutorial here on the Quarters Legacy channel. In this video we'll be taking a look at how to center a Take Under window on the screen. Now this is a pretty common problem that I think a lot of people run into because uh, you know you run your Take Under program and instead of showing up in the center your Take Under program shows up somewhere in the corner and then you need to drag it down to the center because you know because it just looks weird uh, you know sitting up there in the corner and let's Test that out right now. Let me run this code and let's see where our take into window pops up. Exactly, there you go. It just showed up in the corner over there and it's kind of weird, you know, having to look in the corner. You might want to drag it down here in the center so that you can look at it properly, okay? And this is a perfectly valid point because if you're distributing your GUI applications to someone, to your end user, like you obviously don't want your window to be popping up in the corner, right? You want it to appear dead center, right in front of his eyes. I mean, that's pretty obvious. So how do we do this? And is there even a way to do it? Well, yes, of course there is. There are actually two ways of doing it and we'll be discussing both of them here. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. The first method uses the geometry function. Now just a brief outlook of the geometry function and how it works is uh, like this. Now, some of you are probably familiar with this. If you follow this format, you can define the size of the window. So if I run this code now, you'll, hold on, yeah, there you go. You see that this is a 400 by 300 uh, sized window. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, what if we could use the geometry function for something else, for screen positioning? Well, it turns out we can. Geometry can be used to change the size of the window, but it can also be used to you know, determine where it shows up, right? That's pretty cool. So let's test that out. This is how you do it. There you go. And notice the plus signs. This is multiply. Multiply, you know, 400 multiplied by 300. That's basically the number of pixels in the take your window. This is the offset, okay? Because you're like plusing 500 into the X and plusing 500, sorry, 100 into the Y, okay? So basically when we run this code, our 400 by 300 window is gonna show up 500 pixels to the, I mean, 500 pixels along the x-axis, okay, from, you know, this point, from, you know, the start of the window, and 100 pixels below, below the, the top of the window. So let's just run this. And there you go. You see, there's roughly 100 pixels between uh, the, the window and the top of my screen and 500 pixels between the window and the start of my screen. So this is how the geometry function works. Now, obviously we know how to change this, the position of our screen now, but how do we know at what exact location it needs to be for it to be dead center? Now that's a bit tricky. Now what you might do is like trial, trial and error. Right? You might, I mean, you, you might try like, okay, this is my screen size. So if I start from this location, it's gonna work out. But obviously that's not really gonna be a, a full solution. Like what if you're gonna be running this on different windows, like different screen sizes? And what if you're giving this to uh, many users who have different, different, you know, like someone has, a, someone has a 20 inch screen, someone has a 15 inch screen, someone has a 25 inch screen, someone's using it on his laptop, et cetera, et cetera. There are too many possible scenarios. So we need a general solution that works, okay? And luckily that's pretty simple. Let me show you, let's just erase this, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Basically, we make these variables that store the uh, width and the height, okay? And now what we need is the screen width, okay? And the screen height. Now, obviously you don't know this because you don't know which computer it's running on, right? But Tickinter does. Tickinter has this little, nice little function called root.winfo screen width. And this will give you the width of the screen. And this will give you the screen height. Okay, but how does this help us? Well, luckily there's this nice little formula that if we use, it will give us the X and Y offset that we need for it to be dead center, basically. Okay, just follow along and I'm sure everything will make sense. Divided by two and height divided by two. There we go. This is our little formula 
Now we have the four values we need. This is the W, this is the H, which is the width and the height, and this is the X and this is the Y, the X and Y offsets. So now we need to put these four values into the geometry function. Now we can't do it like we were normally because we, we need to make a string. So, so we'll be using uh, format specifiers, basically. I know it's a bit confusing and it's worth taking a look at this topic separately if you're a little confused. All right, so uh, this is how it's done. Okay, W, H, because W goes in there, H goes in there, and X and then Y. Okay, the X goes in there and the Y goes in there. That's how format specifiers work. Okay, a very brief look at them. So if I run this code now, and if it works, then it, our window should appear dead center. So let's see what happens. And there we go, bingo. It's right in the center. And it looks good now. So great, because that worked out. Now, this is method number one. And the reason why I like it, because it's a bit flexible, and you can make some adjustments to it. We have control over it. We understand how it works. We know what's going on in the background. So, you know, that's why I, that's why I like it. Let's take a look at the second method now, okay? Which I'm not a very big fan of, but uh, it's pretty simple. So I'll give it plus points for that. All right, so what you need to do is call the eval function, evaluate function in, you know, tinter for on root, and just do this, place window dot center. Okay, this is a command built in basically. And there you go. There, that's it. That's, that's literally it. Our window is now centered. But the reason why I didn't mention this first is because I just wanted to show you the other t technique first, because I believe it's kind of important for you guys to know that technique. And just one more thing about this, just to explain very briefly what, what's going on here. This is the command, obviously, and that's saying, you know, put it in the center. But this little dot here, you might wonder what that is. Uh, this dot is not really supposed to be a dot. Rather, it's kind of meant to be representing the root window. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that. And the reason for that is because this will only work on the root window. Okay, there's a way to make it work for other windows, like top level windows, if you have, the, if you have a top level widget. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what top level is, it's a widget in Tinker that you can use to create you know, uh, additional windows, okay? Check it out if you have time because it's a pretty handy widget. So if you create a top level widget like this, basically, uh, that's not how it is. It's like this. Okay, so if you create a top level widget and you want to center it on screen, then the method is a bit different. You need to kind of do this weird stuff over here because you need to actually, uh, the, the dot won't work because the dot refers to the root. Okay, it's the path name, kind of. Again, that's hard to explain, uh, but just I'm just giving you a very basic idea on what you would need to do to make it work for a top level widget. And this, top level, there. This is what you need to do, basically. You need to actually put the name of the widget in here. Okay, convert it to a string, because you need to. And the F is here because, you know, it's a formatted string, because you're, you're using this special technique in there. So if I run this, this should work out properly. No errors. Uh, great. The top level widget showed up in the center, but why didn't the root? Why didn't the root window show up in the center? That's a bit weird. Oh, wait, of course. That's because, uh, uh, you know, I didn't, I just modified that command. So if I do this, both of them should appear in, in the center. And yay. Both of them did, great. So I just showed you, uh, this was kind of a bonus and an, an extra thing, but I don't like making a video and not explaining everything there is to know, even if uh, a very small minority is gonna need that. Okay, that's just my style. So if you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys wanna see more taking into content like this, then do make sure to subscribe to the channel, all right? Leave a like, leave some feedback, let me know what you thought. Okay, that's it for now and see you guys in a later video.